All these things added. By James Allen. Read by Andrew. Chapter 1. The Soul's Great Need. I sought the world, but peace was not there. I courted learning, but truth was not revealed. I sojourned with philosophy, but my heart was sore with vanity. And I cried, Where is peace to be found? And where is the hiding place of truth? Phileas Lucas. Every human soul is in need. The expression of that need varies with individuals, but there is not one soul that does not feel it in some degree. It is a spiritual and casual need which takes the form, in souls of a particular development, of a deep and inexpressible hunger which the outward things of life, however abundantly they may be possessed, can never satisfy. Yet the majority, imperfect in knowledge and misled by appearances, seek to satisfy this hunger by striving for material possessions, believing that these will satisfy their need, and bring them peace. Every soul, consciously or unconsciously, hungers for righteousness, and every soul seeks to gratify that hunger in its own particular way, and in accordance with its own particular state of knowledge. The hunger is one, and the righteousness is one, but the pathways by which righteousness is sought are many. They who seek consciously are blessed, and shall shortly find that final and permanent satisfaction of soul which righteousness alone can give, for they have come into a knowledge of the true path. They who seek unconsciously, although for a time they may bathe in a sea of pleasure, are not blessed. For they are carving out for themselves pathways of suffering over which they must walk with torn and wounded feet, and their hunger will increase. And the soul will cry out for its lost heritage, the eternal heritage of righteousness. Not in any of the three worlds, waking, dream, and sleep, can the soul find lasting satisfaction, apart from the realization of righteousness. Bodied or disembodied, it is ceaselessly driven on by the discipline of suffering, until at last, in its extremity, it flies to its only refuge, the refuge of righteousness, and finds that joy satisfaction, and peace which it had so long and so vainly sought. The great need of the soul, then, is the need of this permanent principle, called righteousness, on which it may stand securely and restfully amid the tempest of earthly existence, no more bewildered, and whereon it may build the mansion of a beautiful, peaceful, and perfect life. It is the realization of this principle where the kingdom of heaven, the abiding home of the soul, resides, and which is the source and storehouse of every permanent blessing. Finding it, all is found. Not finding it, all is lost. It is an attitude of mind, a state of consciousness, an ineffable knowledge, in which the struggle for existence ceases, and the soul finds itself at rest in the midst of plenty, where its great need. Yeah, its every need, is satisfied, without strife and without fear. Blessed are they who earnestly and intelligently seek, for it is impossible that such should seek in vain. For more audiobook like this, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.